force of gravitational attraction between two objects depends on the distance between the objects and their blank. Um, the force of gravity, uh, the equation is G times M1 times M2 divided by R squared. All right, this is a, you know, looks like a hard equation, but I'm just going to explain what it is. Gravity is a force, and it's measured in newtons. All right, this G right here, it's just a number. It's called the gravitational constant. All right, so we can ignore that as far as the explanation of it. It's just a number that we're going to multiply it by. Um, it's, as we go through, what we're interested in is these other three right here. All right, we got the mass of object one, the mass of object two, and the radius squared, the distance between them. And so, as the mass, these are both in, in the numerators, as the mass of either one of these goes upwards, if I'm multiplying by a larger and larger number, my answer is going to get larger and larger and larger. And that's what the force of gravity is. As I go, if I was to go to like uh, Jupiter, you know, it has a very large mass, the gravitational pull of Jupiter is much higher because the mass of Jupiter is higher. And as that number goes up, my, my force goes up. Or, say we stay here on Earth. Let's say this is my planet one here. And say we stay here on Earth, as, the, as my mass goes up, it pulls me towards it more. Um, if you get fatter uh, and you go step on a scale, a scale, when you step on it, is just measuring how much the Earth is pulling you towards it. It's measuring the force of gravity. So weight is a measurement of force. And in science, we always measure forces in newtons. We're not going to measure it in pounds. So mass is extremely important. Uh, the other thing that's important is going to be the distance here on the bottom. And it works the opposite way. Whereas this, if, the, if I'm dividing by a bigger and bigger number, then my answer goes down. Right? Because I'm dividing by... 10 and then if I divide by 100 and then divide by a million if I divide by a thousand the answer gets smaller and smaller and smaller so the greater the distance the less force that I'm going to end up with which makes sense because even though the Sun is much more massive and has much more gravity than the earth does it doesn't affect me as much as the earth does because I'm closer to the earth and so two things are really important with gravity um, mass is huge and also distance is going to be uh, that's going to be the two things alright so you have to have both of those when you're determining um, the effects of gravity